In this video, we're gonna be updating the firmware on our two MultiPlus units here. And after we're done with that, we will be able to actually update additional firmware through our Raspberry Pi running Venus OS. You can also do this with a Serbo GX, uh, Venus GX, or CC. Uh, you might not be able to do it with the Color Control GX. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get started. So I got the uh, pad down here because we are doing this right on the batteries. As we can see, we've got a lot of batteries in here. Picked up these two AGMs uh, for, geez, about scrap value again. Um, that's for another project. I just kind of have them sitting here cycling a little bit. Uh, and we're going to plug in, connect the USB from our MK3 into our computer for this. What I ended up doing here is I'm running a USB extension because I have that going to a hub. All of my other VE Direct dongles in the MK3 all going to a single USB hub. So this way I didn't need to undo all the uh, cable management I've done there. We are using the Victron Connect app which hopefully this will work. This is actually the first time I've tried this. Last time I updated the firmware, I had to use the Windows, uh, the Windows application. And let's see if this works here. What I believe we have to do is enable our settings here. And I've been told the password is ZZZ, all capitals. So definitely what we want to do first is save all our settings. Multi plus settings. I'm just going to save those. Okay. Okay, so finally figured this out. Hopefully this works. So to update firmware, after we've logged in and enabled settings, click on the unit you want to deal with. Then you got to go to the little three dots, go to product info, and then we go to update. And it looks like we're quite a bit behind, but I was told never to really update these unless you need to. And in this case, we can't do updates uh, through Venus OS unless we do this update. So I think it makes sense to do it. Okay, I'm all right with that. We saved our settings, so we're in good shape. In case this update is interrupted, it's always possible to finish it later. That's nice. Uh, right, okay. Well, I'm pretty much Victron trained. Now what I don't know is if it's gonna update both at the same time or what? I know they both, uh, or obviously it stopped inverting, so we lost all power inside, but that's okay. Okay, that one has been updated. Victron Connect did crash on me after it finished that, so maybe we found a bug in the macOS version here. I'm going to show the, the two lights there. It looks like they're blinking, which generally I want to say that blinking means that they are out of sync as far as firmware is concerned. It wants us to reset up the VE bus, but I don't think I we want to do that yet. I just want to verify that the firmware is loaded on both of them. Okay. Uh, generally, that's when it only sees one or something. So when you this is expecting we're setting up a new installation. Okay, maybe that's what I need to do. Oh, 
Let's take a look here and see what we see. Okay. Well, I guess we need to configure it. You know what I did not do? I did not save the the VE bus configuration, but there wasn't a lot to do. It's just a parallel system. Ours isn't all that crazy. So let's see how it goes. We're doing parallel. I don't even know that it really matters. Uh, we're going to have that one be... S the one that's blinking is going to be slave. <clears throat> and then it auto-assigns the remaining one. Alright, it says we're good. That was pretty cool. Alright, let's bounce back in here. Oh, that is not a new system. <laughs> All right, inverter's on, we've got power inside, that's good. Let's dig around in here, see what we see. All right, seize both of them. And that one is, we are on the latest version there. That's good. Um, what about our other settings? Those are probably not. So let's load in our settings from the previous. current limit during assist temperature kind of, all right uh, all right so it looks like there's some settings that just don't make sense anymore that's fine that kind of stuff happens look at yeah oh, we do want to change that to 900 although we have a BMV um, for the most part the BMV takes care of all this stuff that's pretty cool I can dig into this stuff when I want to now Okay, so back to the real reason why I wanted to um, do this at all in the first place, which was um, the new Venus OS. I'm running version 2.6.5, release candidate 8. I don't know which version they started uh, doing this, but with as of this version of Venus OS, uh, let's go back to the device list here. Oh, where did I... Um, oh, we have a new VE bus system, so that's in there. Um, you can actually go to the firmware update page on that. And I'm told... Let's see if it pops up. Yep. You can now update your MultiPlus directly from here. And that's pretty cool. Uh, before I did that manual update just now, it said I could not update because I was on too old of a version. And actually, I posted that. Here, let me show you this. This is pretty cool here. So this is the thread on the Victron community board, which is awesome. Really, really like this. Um, the way that they support their community is so good. But check this out. I mean, you can't expect this all the time, but I posted 16 hours ago, this is what I was getting right here. I was getting that error. And none other than Matthias Vader replies back 
and lets me know exactly what I need to do. That's so cool. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, thanks for following along and getting to our multi plus is updated so go up there and update yours too but be careful this is not uh you know for the faint of heart um if you're not familiar with uh you know i would say unix terminal um you know going on message boards figuring this stuff out on your own don't attempt this because if something goes wrong you're gonna have to try and fix it uh you're not gonna get support from victron directly so keep that in mind and if you like more videos like this or traveling videos in our bus up here. Uh, definitely follow along, subscribe, give this a big thumbs up, all that stuff. And uh, let me know any questions or comments you have in the comments below or uh, other videos you'd wanna see, all right? Till next time, bye.